Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy, Coach D. Hey, I got a big one in here for you. Now, I know y'all watch them Tubi movies. You know, I'm watching them every night. And I done got the king of Tubi movies, Ramon Sloan, author, director, producer. Mr. Sloan, welcome to Ain't No Manual, my boy. Man, thank you, bro. How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. I'm pretty good. Thank you for giving us your time. How you been doing? For sure, man. I've been great, bro. What about you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Man, you know, I'm kicking it every night. I'm always on the road and coaching and on the road. Mm -hmm. When I get some time to myself, I like to check out whatever movie I can. And Tubi is, is my favorite. Now, you know, down here in Tampa, we call them B or C movies or whatnot. But yeah. this is my favorite thing to do. Okay. So I've been on Tubi lately. I've been checking you out since circumstances. Seen one, two, three. Then uh, watched the movie a couple of weeks ago called A Good Day for Everybody. And okay. I was like, man, this dude just stepping it up and up and up. I got to give him a call. So that's why I reached out to you, man, to All right. get you on my show and explain to these people how this whole movie production thing done. My man. Now, the name of your company is Swift Motion Pictures. Tell me more about Swift Motion Pictures. Well, Swift Motion Pictures, we, uh, you know, we make movies, uh, you know, documentaries. Uh, we we look in this, we're starting to get off into a series, episodic series and things like that. So we do full feature, mainly full feature films. Um, right now we, we on our, what, eighth or ninth project uh, film. So, you know, uh, we got a bunch of stuff slated for this year, next year. So, yeah. Now... Indie versus Hollywood. Are you considered an independent producer? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Indie, you know, independent producers, independent filmmakers, whatever you call it, um, are um, companies and producers who are people and um, entities that produce these projects on their own. You know, um, I mean, just like you know, record labels and anything like that. Yeah. Now, what's the difference between a producer and a director? So the difference, the difference between a producer and a director is a director is one who directs the production of the project. So the director oversees the cinematography and um, the cinematography, the, excuse me, the cinematography department, um, the uh, lighting department, uh, the sound department, pretty much he's the one who's giving all of these people, excuse me, he's the one who's giving all of these people that's running those departments on set the direction as to how he wants this film to look. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so he communicates that to the cinematographer. The cinematographer then should be communicating that to his camera people, his cameraman and his crew and whatnot. So the director is the one who oversees the vision of the producer. The producer, producer, you have different types of producers. You got, you know, the executive producers. You know, a lot of people are familiar with that term. It's um, the individual who either puts together the funding for the project, um, owns the project, um, or a lot of executive producers are. Um, producers who oversee the higher end of big projects like with networks and things like that. But mm -hmm. most of the time executive producers, they have some form of, um, of uh, equity in the project. And producers are people who um, they pretty much put everything together. So, you know, the producer is the one who organizes who helps to organize the the project meaning whether it be you know a line producer who helps out with um the budgeting and the funding of a project raising money um producer could be someone who basically um puts together everything dealing with the cast the crew uh oversees the location managers um oversees the the um the, the art department, the, you know, so it's, 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 it's a lot of different things that producers do on, in, 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 uh, in film 
Right. You know, the 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 main thing is that the producer pretty much does whatever is necessary to help the project move forward. And get it done. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of different hats that the producer has to oversee and the director has to oversee that as well. Definitely. Now you have all those different uh people working for you when you go into a, a film creation, when you go into a pro a project. Yeah, I mean, you 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 know, um, so a lot of my projects I co-direct, um, mm -hmm. and um, you know, you have, you know, I'm dealing with you know, two three producers on each project, and um, you know, we have two in-house producers who are who works for Swift Motion Pictures, and then you might bring in other producers who are contract producers. Where you know you're you're contracting them out, um, so yeah. Okay. Now let's go back to the beginning. As a kid, were you a movie buff? I mean, yeah, I, I've always loved movies. Um, you know, mm. I've never thought I was that. When I was a kid, I never thought that I would be producing movies. But yeah, I mean, I, I've always loved movies. Yeah. Were you in the sports? Yeah, yeah I was. I was always active. I, I mean, I wasn't like a a person that was just um, overly excited about being an athlete, but I was all, yeah. I've always been active. I've mm -hmm. always played sports and I've always loved sports. Now, did you go to a college or school for uh, to get into movie directing and producing? Or how did you get to the movies? Well, um, I did go to, uh, had some college. I went to um, um, Milwaukee Area Technical College for TV and video production. Mm -hmm. And that was, um, I want to say 2006, 2007. Um, but outside of that, most of the information that I've acquired about producing movies has been, you know, a lot of self talk and a lot of just paying attention to other people who are actually doing it, who's doing things before me and whatnot. So just, you know, getting out there and just learning. Yeah. Now, I also see you're an author. So you started off writing books first? Yes. So the circumstances series is derived, that derived from my book series, Motivation, one through three. So that's what drove me into film production it was um uh, my, my my novels um wanted to adapt those in the films so i ended up doing my first one which was circumstances and then um we did circumstances two and and went on to do the cuckoo cow documentary and some other projects now what led you to do the cuckoo cow what led me to do cuckoo cow was it was it was a project that was brought to me by one of my partners here, mm -hmm. uh, one of my homies, KB uh, Burrell, the playmaker. He um, wanted to do the Cuckoo Cow documentary. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we ended up putting it together, me, him, Steve-O, who is um, the owner of um, the label that got Cuckoo Cow to deal with, uh, with, um, with the, the, um, with the in, in my projects, you know, his album deals and whatnot, right. so yeah, that's 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 where all that came from, yeah, yeah. I remember that song, I believe he had a remix with a uh, trick that on there, too. You, I ain't never did that one for real, I never, yeah, heard that okay, yeah, yeah, that was a hot song, man. Hot okay. song. Now, how long does it normally take to make a, a movie for you? Is that is there an average time, or does it really just depend on what's going on? Well, the actual production, it take us, you know, anywhere from, we shot movies in seven days, we shot Untangled in seven days, and we shot a lot of other ones, wow. you know, anywhere from seven to ten days. Oh, that's that's actually on set shooting. So, okay. uh, but, you know, pre-production, you know, pre-production can take anywhere from a month, you know, to a couple of months, depending on how how much time we actually have to do it. And yeah. the pre-production is getting everything together, getting the ideas before you actually go on set with it. 
Yeah, pre-production is what happens once you have a script and you say, okay, well, um, before the, the pre-production is it's in development if the script is still being written. But pre-production is we have this script. Now let's figure out who is going to play in it, what crew we're going to use, which we generally use the same crew. Who's right. going to play in it, what crew, where are we shooting it at, where's the location, um, how much is the budget. So that's that's the whole pre-production process, you know. That uh, it's it's a lot of different pieces that go into that. As far as the casting of uh, actors and actresses, do you call certain actors or actresses you want to work with, or do you have just a casting to get them on? How does that work? Uh, yeah, well, um, we 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 do a mixture of both. So we do um, we have you know we obviously take advantage of the relationships that we have with um, with actors prior to mm -hmm. some old projects or just people that we know or we've con been connected with. And we also do casting. So we do we do a combination of the two. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed, I think I first noticed the movies when I seen Jamal Wood. Cause okay. I noticed him from the, uh, the Notorious Big movie. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I noticed I seen him in the movie and I checked it out, man. It was pretty good. That was the entangled too. Yeah. You said that was seven days? Yeah, we shot that in seven days, man. Ooh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, did COVID affect you? Because I seen in, in 21 you put out a movie, but in 22 you came out with three. So it seemed like you was working during COVID. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we worked the whole time during COVID. Um we started shooting in um um, I think we shot Circumstances 2, I want to say in July of uh, 2020. And we released that in November of November or December of 2020. And then uh, Circumstances, I mean, I'm sorry, Untangled, we shot that shortly after that. I want to say it was maybe what the next on six, seven months after that. So yeah, we we uh we work we work through it. I mean it's like you what are you gonna do? You, you gotta keep going, right? Looking at the movies, I saw circumstances, uh untangled, good day for everybody. So there's a lot of different diversity. Is there any uh form of film that you're looking to shoot next, like horror or uh, you know, any type of suspense? Well, some of these are suspense though, suspense and thriller. Yeah. Well, we we have a horror film that um that we're gonna be shooting, so we got that. And like I said before, we have a bunch of uh, episodic series mm -hmm. that that we're gonna be shooting as well. So you know, I mean, it's for 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 me, it's all about what you know. Does the script does the script grab me? Does it? Right. You know, when we when we when we read the script, is it something that? we fall in love with to the point to where we like, you know what, this is definitely going to be a hit. We try to go for for hits, you know what I mean? Things that we know are going to resonate with people. Like, you know, I, I don't really like shooting stuff that I'm not passionate about in terms of like, I just feel like, okay, this is definitely something that people are going to love our audience, right? I don't know. Right. I can't speak for all the audiences, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But our audiences, you know, so you, you got to always pay attention to your audience and know what your audience might want. Yeah. So if, 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 if I don't think our audience is going to feel it, then we're not going to shoot it. Now, how do people send in scripts to you? Do you like get a mail full of scripts or email? Like, is that a daily thing? People just pouring them into you or how does that work? Well, I don't, I don't, um, uh, I don't necessarily, you know, just take scripts from people. Um, yeah. You know, we, you know, people are email me or they're, you know, like, you know, shoot us messages and whatnot saying that they have scripts. And, um, you know, what I encourage them to do is just, you know, send over maybe a one sheet of the project with a synopsis or something, um, you know, and then we kind of like look at it and go from there. Um, you know, but most of our, mo most of the stuff, well, all of the stuff that we've done this far is things that we've created ourselves internally. Like, these are scripts that we developed. Mm -hmm. um, 
and, you know, stuff that we all like co-written and things like that. I mean, of course, you know, we want to expand up into, you know, doing things and, you know, um, um, partnering up with other writers outside of our company to do different things. But those pro- those things take time, you know, um, um, they, you know, these, 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 these movies, they cost money, you know, so you have to, you have to, um, um, be prepared, you know, to, to invest and, you know, um, a lot of times, you know, if, 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 if people don't understand that, then, you know, it's, it's, it'll be a challenge or difficult to work with them in bringing these things together. Now, how did you get your movies on Tubi and Firefly? Because that's pretty big. Every time I pop on Tubi, I, I can see at least two or three of your movies being promoted on there at the top. Okay, well, first of all, I don't know. I didn't know the movies was on Firefly. <laughs> but because I don't, I don't watch movies on there. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I hope, I hope we're getting paid for that. Yeah, you, <laughs> you better know check out. <laughs> but... Um, you know, on as far as Tubi and Amazon and stuff like that, um, mm. we, uh, you know, you have to have distribution. So you gotta, you just, you, you gotta connect up with distributors and whatnot, and find either a distributor or an aggregator to help you put your movie on there. Because Tubi, they don't allow um, like anybody to just put a film up. Like you gotta, you gotta go through. You got to go through distributors. Now, what's next for you in 2023? You got any more uh, movies coming out this year? Yeah, we got one coming out. We just shot it in um, February called All About a Check. And that's starring a lot of, we got a lot of heavy hitters in that one. You know, we got uh, uh, Kamel Hassan, Kamal, Kamel Hassan, um, Crystal Dow. We got Paris Davis, Stephen Love, who is... Steve-O is the producer of, um, of um, Trust Nobody 1 and 2. Um, also, um, Unfair Exchange. You can watch Trust Nobody and Unfair Exchange on, um, on Tubi. And then he got Trust Nobody 2 coming out and uh, Hole in the Wall that's coming out. So we got them in it. We have, um, who else? Oh, yeah, DeMarvis. Demaris Harvey, he's in it, and Shelby Lee, we, she's in it. You know, all of these, all of these are, you know, they they pretty big deals. You know, so we, I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited about that movie. Um, you know, I think we we, we did a really good job um, uh, putting it out, and also, oh yeah, we got Fancy in it, she's in it also. Um, so I'm 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 excited about that one. Um, you know, we we in post production with it right now. I think the people really gonna like this one. Well, this might be your biggest one so far. It sounds like you got a lot of heavy hitters in there. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, yeah. um, we gonna find out because we didn't have some pretty big projects. You know, yeah. um, Un- Untangled people really love that one. Yeah, they really, they really love Circumstances series. You know, um, all of those, and you know, Good Day for Everybody. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, the goal is always to top the last film. You know. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I definitely think that people going they going they going to like this one. They gonna, they now, how is the independent circle of uh, of producers and directors? Do other producers and directors, black or white, reach out to you? Do you guys work around work with each other on these? Yeah, movies? yeah, yeah, all the time. Um, you know, uh, BZ Jones is um, um, you know that's that's my homie, man. We've been working together on these movies, man. For years, you know, since the beginning, um, circumstances one, he was a DP on that, and you know, he he pretty much co-directed uh, or directed um, all of the films, you know, at Swift Motion Pictures. But you know, he he got a bunch of movies out too. Um, um, Wait, Child Support, Den of Thieves, Money and Power. I think he got a new one coming out. Uh, my, what is it? Um, my Future Husband, or something like that. I can't remember. So uh, yeah, um, you know we 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 collaborate with with uh, different um, producers and things like that. Now you're from Milwaukee. Yes. Oh, so you're doing all the films and everything up there. 
Uh, yeah, well, the first film that I shot, Circumstances, we shot that in Michigan. We shot it in Flint and Detroit. And <clears throat> um, yeah, the rest of them, the rest of them, we pretty much we shot them here in Milwaukee. Okay, well, you ever down in Florida, man? I got a line of want to be actors and actresses waiting for you. When I the people that know that I'm doing this interview, man, they emailing and calling, man, tell them I want to be a movie, tell them I want to be an actor. I want to uh, be for a so, okay, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. So you, you're definitely inspiring a lot of people, man. You're doing what you're doing. And I definitely uh, thank you for your time with us today, man. Anything else you want to add course, to, to the people? Yeah, well, man, listen, man, um, it's always good. It's always good, you know, to inspire, man, and, and you know, to show people that that if it's something that they want to do, it can be done, you know, and they're they looking at somebody the same color as them, come from the same background. So that's that's inspirational for me to be able to, to, to do that, um, you know. And again, man, I, I, I want to thank you for having me on your show. Um you keep doing what you're doing. Much success to you. And always remember that if it's worth having, it ain't going to never be easy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yes, if, you, if you want something, you got to be willing to put your all into this shit. There's no such thing as a plan B when you're trying to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah that's a fact. No plan B. You just got to do it. Definitely. Nice. So, again, you know, before we check out, I want to let everybody know where they can find us at. That's uh, at Swift Motion Pictures. You want to follow us on the gram, you know, um, and be on the lookout for a lot of these projects we got we got coming out. And definitely go watch the Circumstances series. We just dropped Circumstances 4 oh, uh, yeah. last month. That's the latest film that we dropped. But if you haven't seen the circumstances, movies go watch, you know, start from part one. And I want you to just look at the progression and watch the growth of it. And also just, you know, be able to, I, I, I want people to be able to take in the, um, the, 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 the diversity in terms of culture and whatnot that we've added to the whole series. And, you know, yes. the, the different giants that we was able to add to the whole series also because you know we went from just drama to the drama and you know we went from that to thriller suspense so the whole circumstances series man is packed with all of that action everything that you want you know um and so definitely go watch that man circumstances you know um untangled good day for everybody rising for the cougar cow and be on the lookout for all about a check that's coming out this summer <clears throat> and also we have um, a bunch of joints that we about to shoot. So, you know, if you're looking to get into some movies and whatnot, shoot us an email at castings at swiftmotionpictures.com. Oh, man, they're going to be hitting you up, bro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, man, thank you for your time. Man. I know you're a busy guy. You got to get to it. Thank you again, man. And uh, definitely going to keep in touch. Thank you, fam. Take it easy, bro. Just so that you catch up, run up on something you can't handle. It's up, it's down, no manual. For me, ain't no manual. Ain't no manual. Ain't no manual. Do what you can, but can you do? Just come sit if you can stand the boat. This life hard, understandable. Dog eat dog, fucking animals.